Hello, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between and beyond. My name is Taylor, and welcome to a very, very special and personal uh, video here on the channel. So, I want to take you all back for a second to 2013. Yes, that 2013. The year where we thought, okay, what do we do now? The world didn't end in 2012. Now, if any of you actually believe the world was going to end in 2012, I'm very sorry for you that you had to live the rest of your lives. Uh, if you didn't, like most, think that the world was going to end in 2012, good job. Keep on going. But, no, 2013 holds very special significance, as does this day, middle of February in 2013. This was the first day of the Jardev, now Noiseberry Games, YouTube channel. Now, I want to clarify something. That is 10 years ago. That is an entire decade ago when this channel was started, and it has kept going since then. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, obviously, you know who John is, you know who Chris is, you know what Noiseberry Games slash Jardev is. And if you don't, somehow, uh, there will be a link to the description down below, provided this video goes up on time, and John's video on the Noiseberry Games channel goes up on time, his being a documentary video on, what his, on his channel. Please, go and check it out, go subscribe to him, I'm sure he'd love to have you. And in celebration of those 10 years, I wanted to deliver some very special messages to both John and Robbie because they co-founded the Jardev, aka John and Robbie Development YouTube channel. So John, we're going to start with you. Here's what the people had to say. Dear John, I just want to say two things, but they're going to be pretty long-winded, so stick with me for a little bit, alright? First of all, congratulations on making an entire decade. That's insane! You should be super proud of what you've accomplished and what you've done with the channel. I know there have been high points and low points, but you've stuck through them all and you kept going. You decided, hey, I'm gonna slow down my video schedules. Hey, I'm gonna maybe make different videos that I enjoy more. And you know what? That's a great thing. Your channel should be for you to enjoy and for others to enjoy alongside you. So the fact that you were able to keep doing that for 10 years, eight more years and your channel is able to vote. I just, I still can't wrap my head around it, and I'm sitting here making a video for it. So I wanted to say, congratulations on making it this far. I know it may not have too much longer by comparison to how far it's come, and that's okay. Your channel will live on forever in the annals of the internet as a memoir, and as a sign of what you've been able to accomplish. And I want to get personal for a second here. This is the, the second thing I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you, as a person, First, well, first of all, congratulations. Second of all, thank you. Thank you for inviting me on the channel, uh, for, inter you know, really solidifying the friendship between you, me, and Chris, uh, for introducing me to a world of, of gaming that I never really got into. I, you know, I'd always played games before this, but I hadn't played games with other people that I wasn't in the same room with, or that I wasn't sitting beside at the time. You know, the, the consistency of being able to record, sometimes weekly, sometimes just monthly, and during that one Stardew summer, three times a week, was, was comforting. It gave me a level of stability and stress relief that I absolutely needed at some points, and at others, was just a bonus. Thank you for encouraging me to come as far as I have. I know my channel doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers, and that's okay. The fact that I've been able to put out videos, see things from beginning to end, and feel somewhat proud of what I've been able to put out there is thanks in large part to you. You've given me a push to say, hey, be confident in yourself. Be willing to listen to your own voice in a video and not, you know, want to rip your ears off. I don't think I would have this level of confidence in myself that I do without the channel. I know it sounds Ridiculous, you're thinking, how can a YouTube channel do that? Seeing the reaction that people have had, watching the videos back, and just listening to them, and knowing how much fun I had recording them, has been a really big deal in my life, so thank you for that. If my voice sounds a little different throughout this whole thing, I am genuinely trying not to cry. I didn't think this would happen. I'm a little embarrassed. Um, <laughs> I just need you to know that you and Chris are two of my best friends, and... And I can't overstate just how much the channel 
has played a role in that. How much doing things together, creating projects, like the, the stupid scripts and videos we've done, has, has meant to cementing this friendship, has meant to me. So I wanted to say thank you. But hey, I'm not the only one sitting here. I mean, I am the only one sitting here, but I'm not the only one who's going to be speaking today. I gathered a list of friends, family, and some others to uh, share a few words with you. So I'm going to go quiet for now, and I'll let them take it away. Hey, John. I can't believe it's been 10 years since the channel's been started. It's been such a ride having fun and gaming on the channel with you and Taylor. I can't believe it's all been going for this long. I'll always remember the KFC incident, Taylor's rage when we were shitting on games he loved, and a ton more times. We've really made some lifelong memories through this YouTube channel. It's hard to believe that we're still doing all this after everything that's happened. Two of us have gotten married, we've all got careers and jobs now, we've been through some shit. This channel's been the one constant that hasn't changed in that time. Just like back in 2016, we're still joking around, having fun, and getting together to play games. I'll always be grateful that you and Robbie started this channel and then invited me to be on it with you. Time might pass, but the memories made here the last a lifetime. Congrats, man. Here's to 10 more years. Dear Jar, I mean, John, congratulations on 10 years on YouTube. It's insane that I've known you so long, and insane that you've done a whole decade of YouTube videos. When you're consuming content, it seems so easy, but when you're creating it, 10 years is a lot, and you even uploaded almost daily for most of it. The most impressive thing is your amazing community of noisies, all the friends and people, followers and in-between, all the games you've played, and all the good times you've had. So congratulations on 10 years. I hope you'll have many more achievements and many more videos to come. Dear John, you've been doing this for 10 years. You absolute legend. First of all, congrats on a decade of doing videos that you just enjoy of doing it so much we we can clearly hear it in the way you're making it like the effort that you put that you put into it you know it's one thing to make videos for 10 years and it's another thing to do videos for 10 years with passion like you do also thank you thank you for being an awesome friend thank you for giving me the opportunity to be on your channel since 2014 you don't know but i'm recording this right after you i i did uh, the the audio recording for the video you're asking you asked me to do and you don't know that yet but you will know you know after 10 years some people might come up with some kind of challenge you know i don't know if you have a challenge in mind but I have one for you. Oh, and I almost forgot. I have to thank you for something. It's called the Fam Lad Mate, which I have right here, right now. Subway Italian BMT. You know, the best of the best. If you want to try out this wonderful sub i'm gonna post the ingredients in the comments section so good cheers i mean uh, cheers <laughs> dear john i'm recording this just minutes after i recorded the video for you for the noiseberry games channel and there's more that I have to say. There's more that I want to say. You and I have known each other for about 20 years, somewhere around 20 years. And in that time, you have been one of my closest and my best friends. We've gone through so much together. Like, you know, the last few years of elementary school, all of junior high school, high school, university, college for you college again youtube 
And in that time, we've had so many awesome memories together. We've done so many fun and incredible things. We went to Japan together. We've started a YouTube channel together, which you have carried on for 10 whole years. And honestly, it blows me away to think about, you know, the fact that, that was 10 years ago and how it started out with just you and I playing games in my basement. You didn't have a PC yet. I had a laptop and a PC and we would just get together. Sometimes I'd throw on, you know, the Pokemon anime and I would laugh hysterically at the stupid puns and you would just roll your eyes. But I had a blast and I think you had fun too. And we'd stay up till ridiculous hours of the morning and oh my gosh just had so much fun and it, when we turned it into youtube it, it was different in some ways you know like it's it's more work to make a video when it's not just you doing something for fun and it wasn't always the most fun but it was still worth it i think every single time that we did it every time we recorded every time we made a video it was incredible and you really were the driving force behind that like i was there from the start but you are the one who really got the channel off the ground it was your vision your dream all your effort put into editing the videos and whatnot i was basically your sidekick and i am so thankful for that i in some ways i regret that i didn't help more but uh you know like i am so proud of you and all the work that you have put into it it is amazing i like i think about all the experiences i've had because of the channel like there are so many games that i've gotten to try and play that i honestly would not have even heard of if you hadn't been like hey there's this game that i have codes for do you want to play it sometime do you want to record a video do you want to do you know this that and so many people that i've met and have relationships with because of the channel because of you you know, I never would have met Jimmy or Fitz if not for you. And it's incredible, like, what this channel has done for me as a person because of all the work that you've put into it. It is honestly super amazing. And I am so grateful for it and so happy that we started it. And, you know, I did fall off of it. It fell to you. And you've done an even better job putting it together since I've kind of had less involvement but it's still amazing you know you put out videos every day for so long which hardly anyone can do right like that's so much work to keep up with and it's just amazing it really is so so incredible and like not only have you helped me have all those experiences and been one of my best friends for more than half my life most of my life you've also been there for me in times of strife and struggle and even most recently you were there with me on my wedding day and that was so so meaningful to me to have you there standing up there with me you know i know you're not a people person all the time you get tired you don't want to spend that much time with people and my wedding wasn't exactly small and neither was my wedding party but having you up there holy like it meant so much to me and honestly your channel means so much to me too like i have the fondest memories of doing all the recording all the games gta with fitz and jimmy all the different things that we got up to just so so much fun and honestly it's funny when you and i first started you were the one who watched youtube videos of people playing games and stuff and i hardly ever watched youtube I basically used it for listening to music. And while that's still true to this day, I've actually started watching YouTubers now recently. And I find it funny because I didn't for so long, even while we were, you know, making YouTube videos every single day, I never really watched other people play YouTube or games on YouTube rather. And now I do. And it just makes me think of our channel and all the fun times we've had when I think about it that way and it's just always fond memories and i just want to say again that i'm really really proud of everything that you've accomplished you know keeping the channel running it took so long to get it off the ground and it hasn't always grown in 
the best or quickest ways and it's been hard sometimes but you've stuck to it and that is amazing because 10 years is a long time to do anything and you did it and you should be really really proud like the rest of us are of you now that we've heard from friends family and those close to john I wanted to take a second to read some words from, I believe, and I think everyone would agree with me on this, John's most dedicated fan, Sean Heatherly. Now, Sean watches every single video, comments on every single one. Me and John and Chris talk about him on the regular. I don't think this video would be complete without his presence. So, without further ado, uh, I will be reading off the words that Sean has written for John. Dear John, I've never considered myself particularly important to the Noiseberry Games channel. I know I've come up a handful of times thanks to my comments or support, but I'm just someone who's happy to be watching fun, quality content. From the early days of finding Jardev when I was looking up how not to die immediately and don't starve, to the announcement of the Patreon or subjecting John to, mostly, enjoyable experiences, to the rebranding and John seeming more happy with his videos than ever. It's always been a good time, be it mod spotlights, John's Watches, and the countless Dark Souls multiplayer series, I've watched because it's been informative, entertaining, and insightful. Even when I've disagreed, it's still a good experience. John may not always be right, but he's never unlikable. My tastes have changed over the years, and it's unsurprisingly led me to unsubscribing from some new channels I used to watch, but the thought has never crossed my mind here. I'm deeply thankful for the hundreds if not thousands of hours of joy John's brought to my life, as well as Robbie, Chris, and Taylor of course. Were it not for John, I'd have missed out on so many fun games, but more than that, I'd have missed out on what's become shticks. I can always look back and laugh at them when I really need it. Chimpin truly wasn't so easy. You'll have to forgive the brevity of my statement, I just hope my appreciation is felt. I don't know when the channel will end, but I do know I'll be grateful to have made a small impact on it. Thank you, John. So we've heard a lot about John and, the, and his role slash impact on the channel, but I don't want to leave Robbie out. Now, I don't know Robbie personally, I've spoken with him a few times, but I cannot stress how important he was to the starting of the channel, and I don't want to sit here and sing hollow praises for someone that I don't know personally. So I was able to find someone related to the channel who would know the most about Robbie, who would be able to genuinely thank him and congratulate him on his monumental achievement. So Robbie, hopefully you're watching this. Here's a few words from John. I uh, I don't think it's a stretch to say that the Noiseberry Games channel would not exist if it wasn't for Robbie. Um, if we didn't play hours and hours of Minecraft uh, together in, in, in his basement uh, when we were you know 19 or 20 years old, um, I, I don't think we would have made this channel together um that the whole point of of making the the channel together was we we thought we were funny when we played games together and uh we, we thought that would make for a good channel uh most of the channels i watched uh before we started the channel was just just friends playing together and, and being funny um you know youtube videos were very unedited back then you would uh, channels would would record for two hours at a time or whatever and just just chop that up into 20 minute sections and bam you've, you've got yourself six episodes um so that, that that was that was very much we were we were already playing games together so it, it made sense for for robbie and i to start the channel together and and uh, just show off that <laughs> hopefully we were as funny as we thought uh obviously robbie doesn't have very much involvement with the, the channel anymore. Um, we we played very different games. We we've kind of post Minecraft. We we played very different games. Um, so there was kind of less incentive for us to uh, record games together because we, we were just playing different things um, in our, in our, our spare time anyway. So even though he's he's on the channel less nowadays, uh, he's he's still one of my very best friends. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't go halfway around the world and and go to Japan with with just anybody for for two weeks. Uh, live in a, a tiny, tiny little hotel room with one person uh, or with another person for two weeks. So I, I think it takes somebody pretty pretty special for for me to do that with. Uh, so uh, I mean, Robbie Robbie is 
like I said, essential to the channel's history, and uh, just just a very, very, very special person in my life. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching and listening to this video. Um, do want to give a huge shout out to Fitz. Uh, he did the the visuals for the video, so the video of the video. Uh, I was most responsible for the audio and putting together that portion, so if he still has a channel going, I will link that description down below. Please go and check it out. Fitz is also awesome. He will be appearing in future podcast episodes. And I wanted to say one more time. Thank you. And congratulations to the Jardev, now Noisbury Games channel, on hitting 10 years. <laughs>